This time we have a warning for parents. Videos promoting steroids are all over the app with millions of views. Tuesday, and this time we have a warning for parents. Videos promoting steroids are all over the app with millions of views. The nonprofit Center for Countering Digital Hate released this report, and we have CEO Imran Ahmed joining us live. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so Imran, these are illegal drugs that you say are being marketed to teen boys. What exactly are they doing to try to lure them in? Well, they're doing three things. The first thing is they're telling them that they're not good enough as they are. That to be a real man, you have to have a sort of a Captain America physique, which is, of course, unattainable for the vast majority of people without assistance. And I mean medical uh, assistance through things like steroids, peptides and something called SARMs. Now these three classes of drugs, the, these influencers are also promoting those particular drugs, telling young men that it's safe to take them, don't worry about it. And then, would you believe it, they're actually linking directly to web shops where people can buy these Schedule 3 drugs for use at home, for, to buy them over the internet, to have them sent home. And when they get to their homes, they're telling kids, just tell your parents their vitamins. It's extraordinary. Oh wow. my gosh. Wow. So it's that easy. Their kids are just clicking on a link and they're able to order them just like that? Yes, of course. And look, the truth is that it's, it's all a sort of a, a seamless integrated process. But fundamentally, what it preys on is young people's sense of, you know, I, maybe I'm not good enough. And we all remember being young. I oh, remember sort of feeling like there's other people who look better than me. Will I ever get on in life? And what these people are saying is that the real test of manhood is not being kind, being decent, being financially responsible. It is actually having enormous muscles, the kind of physique that's only possible really through the use of drugs and then telling them how they can get those drugs, how to conceal them, using real emotional blackmail as well. So telling young men, look, in World War II, 17-year-olds would lie about their age to go to war. Mm. Are you too much of a wimp to, to take steroids today to get the body you want? You so, know, really manipulative stuff. Imran, are these videos ta uh, tied to certain hashtags that you've been monitor monitoring? Yeah, we found that they were tied to a, a series of hashtags. We detail them in our report on our website, canterhate.com. We also have some recommendations for parents as well and for lawmakers because this is a serious problem. In total, those hashtags in the U.S. had 587 million views, 420 by 18 to 24-year-olds. Now, here's the, here's the dirty truth. TikTok have hidden the ability to find out how many children are seeing it. So they've actually removed that data because they don't want us to know just how many kids have been infected with this nonsense too. Mm. So tell us, for parents, what should they do? Obviously, you want to keep a close eye on what your kids are looking at on TikTok, but what should they watch out for specifically? Well, of course, there are the signs of abuse itself, you know, whether or not those kids are having drugs which are injected for the main part, sent to their homes. But also, they need to be in a dialogue with their kids. The truth is that TikTok is the first social media platform that really parents don't use and only kids do. I mean, I'm in my 40s, I still use Twitter, I use Instagram, but TikTok just gives me a migraine. And so there is this conversation that we need to have where kids are teaching parents what they're seeing on these platforms and parents are able to contextualize to give them some information to help them to understand what it is they're seeing is it normal is it dangerous and that way what we can get is the trust that's required for kids to be able to survive in this social media environment a social media environment that frankly lawmakers and law enforcement should be doing something about but until now they've been too busy to actually get around to fixing platforms like TikTok. 